and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be taking a look at the update for the Golem Pets add-on. So this update from what I've seen is quite big so it might be here a while. Um, yeah, but the last update was a bit uh, of a disappointment because it added like the Golem Bats but they didn't really work. Maybe they fixed them. Yeah. Uh, oh, and since last live stream, I've done some uh, dining up of well, not last live stream. Since last uh, review video, whatever, uh, I did some tidying up off the world, and it, uh, uh, no, it's not so messy. Fix some holes. Fix remove some like. Uh, the giant flowers that's when that you know then tidy up a bit for me. Uh so yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, here we go. Right, so wait. Need to get a book. Hmm. Oh, A golem scroll. Let's just say golem head. Yeah, and how do you craft the golem head again? It's also they redesigned the golem head. A doll. Hmm. Huh? So you craft a golem scroll with the golem head and the golem head with the golem scroll. So how are you supposed to get the golem head? Hold on. Game mode 1. Yeah. Uh, it's a it's golem scroll. What about if I just go up? Oh. Got all the enchanted books, and there's uh, morph, tinkers, here's you, tinkers, tinkers, encyclopedia. Don't recognize that, we can take a look at that. Damage in here. Yeah, what's this encyclopedia? Oh, yeah, this is uh, new, one of the new, the new tinkers thing. So what's this golem scroll? Ah, here we go. Yeah. So I see. I guess it's a bit buggy because I did have this activated previously and then like deactivated. So maybe that bugged it out. So got gold, gold and pets. They've completely redesigned this. So we've got the fox, bat, fox, chicken, sheep. So turn page, yeah, it's three never quartz and an and a glowstone block. So one, two, three, one. And you craft them together. I mean the golden head, but it doesn't, it doesn't appear here. And use that golden head to make a golden scroll and the golden scroll to make the golden head. Oh, I have that other scroll. Right. Uh, crafting here, yeah, you can convert them back and forth. Golden bat, uh, breed with berries and glow berries, leashable golden bats, shoot hostile mobs. So I'm just gonna give myself a stack of golem heads. Give happy golem head. Yeah, it says golem head. Oh, there's no underscore between it. Right, so yeah, that's a dispenser, so I should have a dispenser over here, that's a dropper, these are dispensers. So 
So can I go up there we go? So place ahead on the dispenser, get the gold and bat. Now if I sum vin some in vindic indicator. The bat still does absolutely nothing. Do I need to t give at P bear blueberries? No, that's still just breeds, so you don't tame the berries. That's odd. And maybe I'll have to go into another world and test it out. Make sure it's not just this world being a bit buggy, because this world is a bit buggy sometimes. Yeah, but it doesn't say anything about needing to team or anything. Then you got a golden fox, which I showed off last time. Not breedable. Attempt them with berries and glow berries. Least will they will uh, fetch and hold items. They hang out near hoppers. They drop items into the hoppers. And then you have uh, golden chicken, breedable with seeds. Leash seeds, leash will they uh, naturally hatch at spawn eggs. I think he means lay spawn eggs over time. Yeah, we, I showed that. Also, nothing with that. Golem sheep, breed them with free, leashable, shearable, eating grass, regrows there. Block. There's a bunch of new ones now. You can shear them to get their resources. There's now an automatic shearing block, which is uh, four shears around the, the golem head, so that's eight ingots. Make four shears to make a shear block. Shears any golden sheep within a radius of eight blocks. Ah, so that's not done. Okay, so they've not added everything I was led to believe they added, or at least according to that. Oh! I missed one of a couple of the giant flowers, I'll probably get rid of them later, but yeah. So it said within eight, it'll share them within eight blocks. So if I place this down, I give happy bitch pence 64. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, so nine. Ah, you have an X. I got hey, so it's not too <laughs> Lily. There's not too slow breaking these. There's one, two, <laughs> Lily. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Lily, are you gonna come up, Hops? You gonna come up, Hops, silly? Or just look at me. Uh, Lily, come on. Up, Hops. No? Okay. She's just going to look at me. She knows what up, Hops mean. And she'll do it sometimes. But sometimes she just, instead of coming up, Hops, she just looks at me. You do it anyway. She's a bit of a weird dog. So, fence this all in. Oh, god damn it. Hey. I 
jump. Yuk. And smash that. And I'm gonna need more fences. There we go. Now, if I just like give at the diamond, or and I place that down there, so I've got the sheep golem, the diamond one, and it's not sharing it. Oh, there we go. Ah, so that's interesting so it's it doesn't automatically collect them it just leaves them on the ground which is annoying because now you have to also make a uh collection system also it's a bit slow in collecting them Uh, I have an idea. If I get a chest, if I get a three chests and a hopper, and then we go over here. And just put those two there. That one there. Chest with the golden head on top. So then when... So if I throw these down, it should pick them up and put them in the hopper. Oh, I could just look at me. Just like... Come on. You're supposed to pick them up. You're supposed to pick the diamonds up. Why? Why are you not picking the diamonds up, Lil? Come on. No, I picked that one up. It likes that diamond, just not the other ones. And it's just got it in its inventory. Yeah, I think this was the idea, is that you'd set this up, and then it would shear the sheep, and then you'd have a uh, chest fox in here, golem, chest golem in here, whatever you want to call it, uh, to collect up the drops, but it does not, the golem does not appear to want to do that. Come on. No, it was just right. No. You are useless. Instead, I'm just gonna. Oh, no blocks have solid blocks. New block. So I got a no block. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the no block on top of there. I'm gonna go to game mode one to do this. Game mode one. Just don't bother with the chest golem because I well at least I'll try and test it out in another world, but I just don't think it's gonna be any good. Yeah, no, don't go into the hole, stupid ship. Just get a chest here and surround this with hoppers. And 
Get, get yourself an LA. Give the LA a diamond. And just have a... You don't have to use two observers, you could use any like sort of redstone clock here. You want I'm just using the observers because it's the easiest for me. And now the LA will stay around the note blocks. Zero. And now if I drop these diamonds off, it'll, the LA will pick up the diamonds and throw them at the note block. Oh no, it won't do that because the note block's covered up. Um, how am I going to do this without covering up the note block? Well, you can power glass sitting me. Um, yeah, no, nah, this is annoying. Move sheep. Just have to put them there. these on the ground. Yeah, that still works. I could probably come up with a better system, I was just do I just uh, built this on the fly. But yeah, just using the lay. Collect the items and have that far away from your base. So you're not constantly just here in the note block. There are new golems, and such. Uh, right, so problem with this is that this this doesn't tell you give you a list of the golems that you can make. It just oh right, here we go. Why didn't it give me this list before? So you got so we've got some new ones here. We didn't have grass, pod soul, mycelium, dirt, or farmland before, and. Uh, or sand and gravel. The ices are old, and I think that's just concrete powder or snow. If it's snow, it's new. If it's concrete, so yeah. And we've also what's new is also the wood, all the wood type, and the, the, the warp plank, warp logs, and stuff. You've also got rooted dirt and moss sheep now. And yeah. That's all the new ones. Oh. So yeah, uh, that, that is some, there is, uh, that way I can't speak today apparently. Yeah, some cool new... Uh, oh yeah, here we go, and I did miss some. So you got the new stone ones, so you got stone, cobblestone, anisterite, diorite, granite, um, the calcite, the tuff, the uh, prismarine, the deep slate, cobble deep slate, uh, amethyst was is old, and obsidian is old. And yeah, is that all them? I know here's the ore sheep. So you got coal, copper, gold, iron, redstone, diamond, emerald, uh, lapis, never gold and never quartz. All of them are uh, old. 
Then you've got the Deep Slate variants. Oh, and you've got Budding Amethyst is new, I think. Oh, yeah, maybe maybe the Budding I think the Budding Amethyst... Wait, how... Oh, okay, I guess you can just... Yeah, the Budding Amethyst is new. Oh, then you have new Nether Block. So you got Neverak, Soul Sand, uh, uh, Crimson Nalium, Nether Ward Block, Warped Nalium, uh, Warped Block. You got the uh, Shroom Light, the uh, Black Stone, and the, the, the uh, and uh, whatchamacallit, the uh, Basalt. And then, yeah, you got Diable Golem, so you got the uh, Terracottas. You got, yeah, you got, uh, yeah, you got Glass, Terra, yeah, so you got Concrete Powder Sheep, that can be dyed. Concrete to go sheep golem, so you got the powder on the regular. I don't know why you'd want the powder if you can make the regular. You've got the glass sheep that can be uh, dyed. And you've got the terracotta sheep that can be dyed. And then you've got glazed terracotta. Uh, glazed terracotta block builds the glazed terracotta sheep. Okay. The glazed terracotta golem, and then you got all the different dyes for that. Then you got grass, pod solder, gravel sand. Find the three secret golem sheep only found by breeding two different golem sheep types. So you got grass and pod solder, dirt and gravel and sand. So if we breed those two together, uh, so let me go. Am I online creative gear? Let me go into game mode one. So, I need Wahaeta. I do like the idea of like secret uh, ones that can only get by going by breeding. So, grass and pod soul. Grass and pod pod soul. Dirt and gravel. And grab sand and iron. I think it's iron. Yeah, I yeah iron ore. And then uh, we're socials. So yeah, I did hear about the that one from the Discord. Uh, by the way, if you want to join my Discord, links are down in the description. It's free to join. Um, and we've also got a Discord member realm if you want to join that. Yeah, let's take a look at what the is uh, this new sh the secret sheep is. So we've got the grass and pods all. Wham, bam, come here. Also, I've got to go into survival. It's oh, it's a dead path. That's cute. I don't know why it's grass and pods, so that makes a dead path, but it's cute. Hmm. It's a cool uh, secret one. So dead and gravel. Oh no, it's a gravel baby. Give that he gravel. Give myself another gravel block and hopefully this time it's not a baby. Yeah, another baby. Read those two together. And there's a core oh yeah that makes sense. Core steer to craft it and the, the gravel together and you get core core steer. Yeah. And so if you breed the sheep together, you get the course. You get the sheep. Oh no, it's another baby. Give that P iron or K 
Can't breed the pepper. So make these two breed. Okay, I'm a little bit confused as to why those two... Actually... Yeah, so that's red sand, so it's not super confusing because red sand is very orangey. So, and like, uh, when iron oxidizes and rusts, it goes orange, so I guess that's the idea. But surely it'd be a better, um, candidate for that instead of the iron gold. Like, maybe, like, one of the dyed sheep, like, maybe the red, maybe a red, well, maybe they can't, can't tell the difference between a red, uh, like, Concrete or terracotta sheep, and a, a and one of any color. So maybe that's why so they just uh, iron when it oxidizes, it goes very orange, just like the red sand is quite orange. So yeah, yeah. I mean, it kind of makes sense. It's just like yeah, I feel like it would have made more sense if it if it looks like. Well, I think it would have made more sense if you could just dye the sand sheep in, to make the red sand sheep. I think that would make the most sense to me, in my opinion. Oh, can you only get that by breeding? Or can, can you not get, like, give at P red. So if I put a golden head on the red sand, it just creates a regular sand sheep. What if I get... and I can't die, can I? Nope. I think you should just be able to get the red sand sheep from uh, either using a golden head on red sand or just... and or... Dying the sand sheep red. Uh, but I, that is a cool idea uh, having like um, some of them only be able to get to by combining two others. Like you could probably um, do a lot of stuff with that idea. So like we have a farmland sheep. We can't. Don't think you can make a water sheep. sheep. You know, I think that would just be a limitation of the add-on. Hmm. Because I was going to say, if you could do that, then maybe you could like get a wheat sheep or something. Or, well, actually, I think if you, um, I think with the, there is a farm. So if I get, give P farm. They did show off the farmland sheep, so if I uh, go over here and I put this on top of there, that should give me, the, yeah, that gives me the farmland sheep. I think with this, what you should be able to do, if you get, like, some seed, uh, give, that's P, seed. So, let's just go B, which is easiest, because that's the first one. You should be able to, like, right-click them with seeds or with, like, carrots and potatoes and stuff. And then it'll start growing that crop. Give a piece of shit. Instead of, uh, uh, where is it? Instead of just giving you the farmland. Look, I mean, this is the, I mean, this is the only way to get it in survival, which is cool, I guess. But I think it would be more useful if you could uh, get, if instead of uh, that, you just like right click them with, you, you could also right click them with seeds or carrots or potatoes and then start growing them on the spark. And then when you right click with a shear it or with when you get sheared by the auto shear it, instead of giving you the path, the farmland block, it'll give you uh, uh, the crop. I think that would be cool. I think then if you could like, Get a water sheep by placing the uh, golem head above a water block or something. Then uh, you to get to, you know a water sheep, and if you bred those two, the farmland and the water sheep together, you get the uh, watered farmland or hydrated farmland or whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then 
uh, that would uh, air grow the crops on its back uh, faster, like it, uh, you know, just like with normal farmland. So yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. So yeah, a uh, pretty cool update. To, um, I'm gonna go check the bat thing, golden bat thing now. So if you know, if the golden bat bat does decide to work in another world, I'll let you know. But if not, then this is the end of the video, and I'll see you guys in the next uh, video. Video. Hold on. I'll see you guys in. Hold on, my computer's not happy with me. There we go. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Right, I figured out what was uh, what the problem is with the golem bat. Now, go get a few in here. So they don't attack vindicators. They do attack zombies. They also don't attack witches. So uh, let's see, what do what do they don't and do and don't attack? So spawn. So see yeah, well all the hostile mobs are the P blah, 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 mushroom bag. Now let's try creepers. And well actually even if maybe it shouldn't because uh, silverfish. Skeletons, wither skeletons, strays, slimes, spy, yes, yeah, spiders, uh, and zombie pigmen. Uh, and let's get a husk in here. So, do they attack husks? Yep. They attack husks. Do they attack creepers? Yes, they do. Do they attack silverfish? Nope, they don't care about silverfish. Do they attack, they attack skeletons? Do they attack river skeletons? Yes, they do. Do they attack strays? Yeah. Do they attack slimes? No. Do they attack spiders? Yes. Took them a minute. Do they attack mm -hmm. zombie pigmen? No. I guess it's kind of fine that they don't attack them. They are neutral. Uh, drowned. Uh, chief spider. They already know they don't attack witches. Guardians, elder guardians, endermite, magma cube, uh, hoglin, piglin. And Zoglin. So, round they attacked rounds. There's not many of them now. Let's spawn a few more of these guys in. Uh, do they attack cave spiders? They do not attack cave spiders. They attack guardians. No, which is kind of fine because they're underwater, so... You're not really going to be in a situation where they're going to encounter them, really. They don't attack endermites. They don't attack magma cubes. <laughs> They don't attack hoglins. They don't attack piglins. Mine is uh, finally they don't attack piglins because they're typically neutral if you wear them gold. 
Hey, mate. No, I want to make them angry. Zoglins. They don't attack Zoglins, but Zoglins attack them. And I'm going to need to go somewhere else and spawn more of these guys in. Uh, where was I? Uh, Endemite, Strider, Hoglin, Piglin, Zoglin, Piglin, Brute. You want them to attack Piglin Brute because uh, they only spawn in the Bastions and they're always hostile. Uh, Warden, I mean, you, brought, you don't want them to attack the Warden really. Right, so yeah, got to the Vex. Evoker, Vindicator, Shulkers, Blazers, and Ghasts. Uh, zombie Villager, fan uh, Phantom. So, they don't attack uh, the Piglin Brute. They don't attack the Warden, but you don't really want them attacking the Warden. You want them running away from the Warden. He was annoying. Right, they don't attack Vexes. They don't attack Evokers. They don't attack Vindicator, we already established that, sir. They don't attack Shulkers. They don't attack Blazers. They don't attack Ghasts. They don't attack Phantoms. Ravager! Oh yeah, tough girl. Uh, well. Breeze. I've, these are all like the golems. These are the last two. Ravagers, no. Breezes, no. So! If you're planning uh, to fight any one of these mobs, they are the uh, bad golems are useless. And they, so that phantoms, ghasts, silverfish, slimes, uh, cave spider, magma cubes, hoglins, endermites, endermites uh, witches, vindicators, uh, blazers, ravagers, uh, breezes, shulkers, evokers. Uh, Vexes, Piglin Brutes, and Zoglins. Which is pretty bad, because that's a wide variety of hostile mobs that they just do not attack. And this is why I couldn't even think about why they weren't attacking, because they just don't attack some hostile mobs. Like, why? Why do they attack some hostile mobs but not others? They're stupid. Uh, but yeah. And uh, now you know. And knowing is half the battle. G I G. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys uh, again. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Hope to see you guys in the next one. And bye bye.